This is a movie about the tools that come with your bike. There's three tools in this little baggie. They're from Schlumpf. This is one of those three tools, a very small Torx wrench. Fits the center of the push button. You can drive it with something like this, or better yet, is the torque wrench that Florian Schlumpf gave me. So here's how you remove the push button. You use this tool to keep the push button from turning, and this turns the set screw in the center. I just loosen the set screw, and now I can spin the push button out. Here's how you put the push button back on. There's a threaded rod in there that you can't see right now, but that's spinning onto that threaded rod. And you turn it on, spin it in, until it stops, and then back up a couple of turns. You have to be sure that there's this free play available. You don't want to turn it in too far, or you, you might not be engaging the shifter properly. You want to be sure that when you click it in, it still can wiggle. Then, this keeps the button from turning. This turns the set screw against the end of the threaded rod. And there you go, the push button's installed. So here's the third tool that comes from Schlumpf. This is to protect the threaded rod from the crank puller. If you're going to remove the cranks, this is perfectly normal, just like any bike shop would do. You move the fixing bolt. So once you have the fixing bolt out of the way, then you can see the threaded rod that the push button goes on. And if you just use a crank puller just like this, you're pushing against the threaded rod and it could damage it. So Schlump sends this little piece of tube that goes over the threaded rod and then you do your crank puller perfectly normal just with that piece of tube in place. There's the tube, there's the threaded rod again. So if you tighten the set screw against the end of the threaded rod, that's what holds the push button in place.